Köp uh, Gottisholt Transformateur. Okay. Have it in my workshop for quite a while. I haven't done anything with it. Uh, I need to uh, work out what's what. That may be primary winding. There's two winding coils in parallel, and that is looks like part of the primary. It sits on the outside, and um, the one goes here to the inside. These it's about halfway, and I'm not sure it might be 110 or 220. I have no idea. There's a real thick LV winding in here, and in these copper ribbons they uh, they look like tips because they're probably part of this binding here so I need to uh, do some ohm measurements and see what is related to what but I'm pretty sure they're tips I need to put some new sleeves on this because this has gone very brittle look at this 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 breaks off quite easy in the insulation so you don't want that shorting out um, also need an insulation test on the device Start cleaning this up a bit and uh, I'll advance on this video a bit later. Well, got all the brittle insulation removed and I got all these things uh, airborne and time to do some tests and see. Let's see if it makes any sense out of the wiring on this device. Just approach this test a bit differently. What I've done. I put a 250 watt ballast, a streetlight ballast in series, and the null load is, I'm not sure if you can see it, 40 watts. Can you see this? There you go, 40 watts. And on this double winding, which I saw as the primary, I got 147 volts. I'm going to check all these taps and see what readings I get out of these taps. I'll let this soak for a wee while so I know it's all good. Okay, the meter should be in vision. Uh, it's going to energize the device for the variac and it should give me the total voltage. Energize device. And I put tabs on the wires A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and so on. So the primary coil is energized at 147 volts, 147, as you hopefully can see. And this is my wandering lead, so I'm going to do all the tabs and then see what readings we get out of those. So I've got it on the ballast. Tab A gives me a reading of uh, 56 volts, 56.5, that will do. Step B forty five point one, take you two point two, that's all right. Step C one hand rule apply. I'm standing on a dry wooden floor, that's thirty three point eight, thirty three point nine. Tap 4, or tap D I mean, 22.5, tap E, the good thing is by ballast or by series loading the device, if there is a dead short it uh, wouldn't cause a major drama, 11.3, uh, going to the other side, that was, E, you have an F, F is here, sixty-seven point eight. This is going to be quite a good transformer. It gives me quite a good uh, variety of voltages. F a G. Ninety point five H 
79.1 so by reorganizing these numbers we can uh, get some logic and I'll, ma I'll make a little panel board for this transformer but I first need to do some tests this is just part one of the video just to see how the system works still doing on 40 watts um, 101 uh, 101.1 Step J is one one three point two will do. Of course, the neutral should give me zero. So, there we go. Done is uh, 240 volts for the meter, ballast in series on the, I thought, the primary call of this uh, transformator. I just plotted the readings down on this piece of paper. Reference point. The transformator. Right, the heavy winding on the inside gives me 4.4, say 4.5 volts. That's at 150 in, so it'll be about 6 volts. Body with nice currents uh, to do some experiments with. So oh, That's good. The other winding on the other side gives me 392.4 volts. I'm going to make the terminal K and L. There's 150 in. So 240 in, that'll be about 500. Beautiful. Let it soak for a while and stay tuned for part 2.